Yes. What are Everything. we seeing with this vape pen? What are you seeing as, as, a, as a patient coordinator and pulmonary rehab? That and um, so it's about 65% of our teenagers are out now are entertaining the uh, vapes and the jewels and all different devices outside of tobacco, you know, wow. cigarettes and pipes. You know, and I think the sad part about hearing that number is that many folks are familiar with nicotine. They know they get right. nicotine out of a cigarette. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and I think the idea that from a pulmonary perspective, from a, a medical perspective, nicotine actually is not a harmful substance, right. it's just highly addictive. And I think that's the issue that we have with vapor uh, in general is that if patients are switching from tobacco to a vapor, really all they're tr switching is how they get their nicotine addiction met and not really changing the behavior because you still have to inhale that. Right. And so for me that's just a verb change. You're just uh, substituting one addiction for the other. For and, the other. And I think the other concern that I have for, for kids is that most folks forget that the lung develops uh, up until the age of 20 to 25. Right. And so nicotine in a child actually is not safe. Nicotine in a child actually robs them of the ability to develop normal lung. So to hear uh, young adults, uh, young uh, adolescents using a, a nicotine device like a Juul means that we're going to see different trajectories of their lung function later. We were discussing this off camera and I was shocked. Because there is no regulation for these devices, you're seeing kids as young as 10, 11 years old. It's like the new cigarette, as you said, as you said, Mickey. Is this true? Yes. And, and I think that's the other thing. We're, now that we're starting to see literature come from the European right. Union about the use of, of vapor, um, we can see the same level of resistance in the airway from a, after your first puff of a vapor that we would see in patients with asthma. Mm -hmm. And I think that airway resistance that we see from a physiologic standpoint increases white blood cells. And the problem with COPD development in general is that when the white blood cells don't know to turn off, then they're going to cause chronic inflammation and the chronic inflammation will cause damage to the lung. And so again, we can see the same level of concern that we see with a regular cigarette in some vapor uh, users. And I think the idea that it's safe means that we really have to think about what safety means. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think the dose is one. I, I can't tell the difference between a high dose, medium dose, or low dose nicotine. Right. It's not regulated to tell me. And so the idea that we also don't know about the toxic metals we were right. discussing.